Welcome. Let's take a look at an example of finding the linearization of f of x equals cosine of x at x equals pi over 3. Then we'll use this linearization to approximate the cosine of 59 degrees. And note that we have our formula for linearization noted below. So let's go ahead and get started. So we want to find the linearization for cosine of x at x equals pi over 3. So in this case, pi over 3 is the place or the a at which we want to anchor our linearization. So our linearization here will be L of x equals f prime at pi over 3 times x minus pi over 3 plus f at pi over 3. Now, uh, written in this form, we note that there's two things we need to know to finish this linearization. We need to know what is the derivative of f at pi over 3 and what is the value of f at pi over 3. So f at pi over 3 is equal to cosine at pi over 3 and cosine at pi over 3 is equal to 1 half. f prime at of x we need before we can find f prime at, prime at pi over 3 is equal to negative sine of x. And then f prime at pi over 3 would be negative sine of pi over 3, which would be then negative square root of 3 over 2. So at this point, we can go ahead and write our linearization. L of x is equal to the negative square root of 3 over 2 times x minus pi over 3 plus 1 half. And there's our linearization. Now let's go ahead and use this linearization to find the cosine of 59 degrees. So the cosine of 59 degrees is going to be approximated by the linearization. However, there is uh, one thing that we must attend to before we do this. In calculus, we always work with angles in radian measure. And you'll notice that this is in degrees. So we need to back up and we need to convert our 59 degrees to radians. So 59 degrees in radians, let's see there's 180 degrees in pi radians. So we would multiply 59 degrees by pi over 180 and with our dimensional analysis, we'll see that degrees in the essence divide out, and we're left with 59 pi over 180. So now, when we use our linear approximation, we need to use 59 pi over 180 radians rather than 59 degrees. So, what we can say then is that cosine of 59 degrees is approximately equal to the linearization evaluated at 59 pi over 180. So this is equal to the negative square root of 3 over 2 times 59 pi over 180 minus pi over 3 plus 1 half. And we'll go ahead and simplify this a little bit. We can get a common denominator between the 180 denominator and the 3 by multiplying by 60 over 60. And when that happens, uh, notice that my numerators, I will have 59 pi minus 60 pi. So I will have a negative 1 pi in my numerator. So this is going to be equal to negative square root 3 over 2 times negative pi over 180 plus 1 over 2. Um, 
simplify, uh, multiplying uh, this first term out, we end up with a positive square root of 3 times pi. 2 times 180 is 360 plus 1 half. Now, let's go ahead and compare results here. So, first of all, um, using a calculator, so using a calculator, which again, which uh, uses more sophisticated process than a linear approximation, but to demonstrate the <clears throat> accuracy of linear approximations can achieve, uh, if I use a calculator and I ask uh, what is the cosine of 59 degrees, I get approximately 0 0.515038. And now with my linear approximation, so my L of 59 pi over 180, which is equivalent to 59 degrees, is equal to 0.515038. square root of 3 times pi over 360 plus 1 half. And that is equal to approximately 0 0.515115. So notice that our linear approximation uh, is accurate to at least three decimal places in approximating the value of the cosine of 59 degrees. I hope you find this helpful.